wants to have new growth. It is another beautiful Saturday morning that is windier than I have ever experienced. I don't know what is up with this spring, but the wind has been insane. Today is the last day that I will be recording without a proper microphone though, so yes, hopefully we can get rid of this nasty sound. What we got planned today is I am going to do some pruning. Uh, check out the buds, they're starting to come out, so I'm starting to lose time on this, but uh, this variety is called Blue Crop, and I'm gonna go from a nasty, old dead wood hanging out into the row like right here this is just going to get blasted by the tractor as we drive past uh dead and think of all the nutrients that are required to keep all this gnarly nasty wood alive that it's not going to put into producing fruit and we're going to trim it down and we're going to make it look nice and healthy like this bush and this year and then especially as year progress uh, we'll have some beautiful fruit coming out of this and it won't take me ages to prune it because uh you know we'll keep up on them every year then after that we're going to go cut up a tree split some wood add wood to the pile that we're doing to keep trespassers out and uh it's just overall going to be a chill day so yeah let's get going so, i'll make a video at some point uh when it's not as windy and have somebody else here just dedicated how to prune blueberry bushes but I want to see if I can capture what I'm looking at uh, by myself here with this one. So the first thing I look for is stuff that's hanging out into the row. So this foot branch right here, it's, it's hanging. And when any kind of fruit is going to grow on it, the weight is going to cause that branch to sit down in the grass. It's going to get wet. It's going to get nasty. It's going to get ran over. It's pointless. It's taking nutrients from the rest of the bush and it's just not paying off. So here's another one that's all bent and nasty. I'm gonna cut that out. Another one that's hanging out. So I'll start with this side. Here's another one, it's hanging. And if you look at it, you can see it's all brown, it's nasty. There's not really any buds on it. It's not really adding value. There's no, think of the nutrients that it's gonna to take to keep that branch alive. Keep walking, here's another big this is all growing all nasty it's all it's not really growing straight up it's been split we don't need that we want nice uniform vertical growth and this is what happens when you don't take care of these bushes you don't prune it that stuff is allowed to go and it just takes nutrients another piece that should have never been left but once again these haven't been pruned in forever so now i got decent amount of this cleaned up now i'm looking for nasty green colored wood at the bottom here that generally indicates that it's very old and taking a bunch of nasty nutrients as i'm scanning over I'm gonna take a look at this branch it's, it's it's brownish again greenish but look it's pretty much dead it's not really going to be any fruit on it let's cut it out now I'm gutting this bush. I mean, there's literally not gonna be much left. It's gonna take a couple years for this to come back. But pruning this is signaling to the bush, hey, I need to put some new growth out there. I need, I need to get some leaves up. And don't forget, like humans, these bushes, they're genetically designed, I guess is one way to put it, to reproduce, right? So it wants to have new growth. Ah, two of those. I'll leave one just to be nice. You don't want to cut everything out. I want to have some blueberries this year, right? Okay, so we pretty much got this side done. I can tell looking in here, this is one of those nasty, not much left on it branches. And I'm gonna cut this one long here. Okay, boom, this side complete. Go to the other side. You get a different angle at it, but all right. So this is leaning over here. It's nasty. Look how thick it is. Hardly any butts on that. So let's get rid of it. And turn that up. We gotta leave this one just because it has a little bit of life. This, it's all split nasty. Not really any buds on it, not worth keeping. This is leaning. This is a weird fucking It's 
stimulate some new growth this year and produce us a bunch of berries here in the future. And trust me, when I'm not just filming, uh, I talk in these bushes and I justify in my head what I'm going to rip out. Cool. Just finishing up, giving this blade a quick sharpen. Uh, pretty productive day so far though. Got a, about a half a row done of blue crop, and then went over and hit a hit another row. I get pretty bored doing the same thing and want get antsy and want to move over. So I would take a break, cut up some of that tree, get it split, and I'll probably uh, go back and prune a little bit more before I leave. Even if it's just a couple bushes, it makes me feel good, like I'm making progress. Thankfully, it's nice and cold again today. Things aren't exploding, they're not growing, which makes me feel like I got time yet where I'm not ripping out my hair, feeling like I'm falling behind. But we definitely need to get a, a bad AS blank tent out here because we lose a half an hour driving here, we lose half an hour driving home. So an hour of every day just to come out here. Uh, so if we can tent out here from Friday evening to Sunday, we gain a lot of time, especially in the hot and heavy spring portion. Um, it's gonna be summer before we know it, so we really gotta get going here. Uh, later this afternoon, I'm gonna head to Home Depot and scope out the materials I need for the raised beds that we're gonna build. And I gotta get pretty serious here about getting the stump grinder rented to grind the field down where we're gonna put the raised beds and then get that rototilled. But either way, just sharing that, you know, covering everything that we're working on here is being transparent as possible because we're documenting what we're doing with this uh, this farm with everyone that's uh, kind enough to watch. So yeah, let's get back out to that tree, get it cut up and get going. Thanks. All right, ah, I gotta figure out how to, ah, thanks. I gotta figure out how to do different transitions or just get onto the next point. You're gonna see an evolving channel as we go here, but this, this is being real, uh, this is what you're gonna continue to see. If you do like it, give us a like, give us a share. We appreciate it. This, sharing this with you, motivates us to get, to continue to grow this. And uh, if we can get monetized on YouTube, it helps pay for some of the bill. This land is very expensive and uh, we can afford it, but I don't know how we're gonna <laughs> afford uh, all the stuff that needs to go with it to get it going again but we believe that this is our calling and what we need to do and i believe in my heart of hearts that i'm supposed to be sharing this for some reason but, okay let's get splitting <laughs> right with the chainsaw like it's uh like where the, the oil comes out is clogged or it's just not coming out good enough the chain i feel like it needs a professional i keep looking over at it <laughs> but i feel like the chain needs a professional sharpening in also not just that file but like to somebody that actually has a machine there's one not far from us but i'm at work i'm gonna take this thing home with me today and give it a give it a nice cleaning and drop that chain off and get it cleaned up because there's it should not take me as long as what it was to cut through here and i went over back here by the the ditch and as i was cutting through up here you can see right there the blade and the wood it was a smoking like it was hot and yeah i've, I've cut through this earlier when it was much more alive and this, the blade was just going right through it I got three, three pieces that are geese. 
I'm gonna get my stuff set and I freaking forgot the axe. I'm gonna walk back and get that right now, get this split up, which seems like a waste of time because then I gotta go get the cart. Uh, yeah, we need a truck or a UTV or something. This is this is ridiculous. Okay, ah, I'm not gonna get a cart. I'm gonna carry it out there and make it pay. So I make myself get a UTV or a truck or something. This this sucks. It sucks, but it's good. Motivation. Gotta get a truck. Gotta get that stuff set. Uh, uh, quick lift in. Gotta get a truck. And come back to the last one. Good work out. Now I gotta come back to the camera. Well, I may not have a truck or a UTV right now. I'm beyond thankful that I have a healthy of enough body to do this. Always gotta find the positive. Right here, might as well check out our speed composter. Ooh, looking good-ish. Need some water on it. Man, I think it was almost full at one point. We're going to compost a ton this year. Uh, probably do a video on that coming up here, but I think it worked out pretty well. More to come. Let's get it set up to get some sweet footage of me chopping some wood now. Ooh. Chopping some wood. All right. If this goes first round, look, I just took this off. This axe is freaking sweet. Let's see if we can get through the first swing. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. This thing is amazing. It's called a Fisker. It's from a company called Fiskers. It is a X27 splitting axe. I have a link below in the description to it on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon, delivered to you quickly. And we get a small commission from it if you do buy it from there, which helps us keep this going. But yeah, this thing is amazing. Speed up this now and make it just like a bit being split. And, oh, oh yeah, and, uh, yeah, such a good workout. Once again, not only is it windy, but yeah, crazy to believe that all this wood is from three logs from that tree. Uh, back out here, get this stacked up. Once again, sort of frustrated that I still have to think about why we're putting this up here, but it'll be good, nice, awesome dry firewood by the end of the year. This stuff is very live yet, so we can try to burn it now. It just takes forever. I mean, it not only it takes forever, it doesn't really want to burn. It's so green or what, whatever way you want to describe it. Get that chainsaw sharpened up, and we can stack this thing mile high easily with just the wood from that one tree that's out there yet. It's like that old, you know, plant a tree now for shade later. We are drying wood now for an epic campfire later on. I think that's going to do it for me today out here. Pretty productive day, several hours. 
down, uh, not down the drain, but several hours of work completed. After I end this, I'm gonna go prune one more bush. One more bush just to create a good habit before I head home. But as always, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. And if you made it this far, uh, truly, truly thank you. That helps with the analytics uh, that our view time is up there. So once again, we'll see you soon. It's been a, it's been a good weekend. Bye.